Hello and welcome to Google Play, I'm Chris Hewitt. Now, Star Trek Into Darkness is one of the most eagerly anticipated movies of the summer. And I'm delighted now to be joined by the man who is the villain of the piece, the man who's front and centre in the posters behind me, and the man who plays the enigmatic and malevolent John Harrison. It is, of course, Benedict Cumberbatch. Hello, sir. Hello, Thanks for joining how are you? Us. Lovely to be here. I request permission to go after him. Starfleet is not about vendetta, Kirk. Maybe it should be, sir. Jim, you're not actually going after this guy, are you? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I only know what I can do. Uh, you're a very popular man. Uh, yes. I, it, well, yeah, I don't, am I? Well, I'll explain why, because uh, <laughs> we asked uh, users on Google+, and various okay. other social networks, to send in questions for you. Okay. And they bombarded this. It was like photon tor torpedoes. They just bombarded this with questions. They had <sighs> like many, the many, many questions. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Uh, some of them were very personal. Oh. They wanted to know your favorite fruit, favorite perfume. That's outrageous. That's really close yeah. to the skin. The color of the toothbrush. Terrible, terrible, terrible joke. Yeah. I'm like, I, <laughs> no, it over. Uh, no, I can't get away with it. Um, <laughs> my favorite toothbrush. No, the color of your toothbrush. The color of my toothbrush. Yeah. I think it's very invasive. Yeah, I mean, once people start to imagine what actually cleans my teeth at night and in the morning, I, then I start to worry a little bit, you know. As <laughs> I like to remain a little bit enigmatic, so the, okay. the colour of my toothbrush will remain a secret. Okay. okay, well, we'll ignore that one. All right, all right. We have some of the very best ones here. We'll start cool. off with the first okay. one. It is from Cumberbatch Web. Right. You may know those guys. Uh, Adam, Montserrat and Edric, who all mm. asked roughly at the same time. Yeah. You've got an incredible fan base for your work in Sherlock. Yeah. And working on Star Trek obviously opens you to an even bigger one. Yeah. Did it intimidate you to work in a film franchise with such a rich history, high expectations, and a focal fan base? Oh, it's a good question. Um, y yes and no, but on, you know, basically, the first film, JJ's first outing with Star Trek 2009, made me realize that the franchise was in very safe hands and that to be honest, he's such an extraordinary filmmaker and human being. If I was pleasing his idea of what he wanted my character to be within our version of Trekdom, then um, that was the only um, concern or preoccupation I had to have with expectations. Because otherwise, that way madness lies. You're never going to be everyone's meet. Someone's going to be throwing up in the corner going, this guy is horrendous. <laughs> and, I, and that's fine. That's allowed. That's what the world's about. But... Um, you know, I, 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 I'm very aware, of course, of how possessive and rightfully so Trekkies are. You know, there's a, there's a huge deal of respect I have for them because it's not just a name for a group of fans. Mm. It's actually about a level of knowledge and understanding of the subject matter. But it's a strange thing because it actually then takes ownership of what it is, which originally was a creative process yeah. and received by them as an audience, and now the audience has sort of taken control of it. So there's good and bad with that. There's knowledge which I completely bow to and uh, would love to, you know, immerse myself in and have done since doing the film. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I, I was... My, my fears, which were rightfully there, obviously, um, because of their kind of presence... Um, I have to say, a lot of them are incredibly benevolent. I mean, however vocal they may be about what they like or don't like, it, it's it, their opinions. They're not they're not going to kill me. I hope, <laughs> but you know, it's just it's, it's like, they're normal human beings who just have a real enjoyment of quite a, quite exceptionally rich, um, you know, materially rich.